Hey there, another video. Today, I'm bringing you this video because last time I had did the uh, HIDs, but I had a small problem where the HID, if you look, well, you can't really see it on camera. Not on this bike, at least. The HID is burning my housing. So what I did was, I invented that little shroud. It's like a little heat shield. Hopefully it'll work. I glued it on there with Gorilla Glue. Um, and also, the lights were flickering. On this bike, maybe you can see the burn a little bit more. I already did the shroud for this one, but if you look right there closely to where my finger is straight ahead, you can see the burn mark is turning brown. Now, the lights were flickering, and that was because where I bought the HIDs, they were supposed to send me this harness. This harness is a relay harness. So it doesn't burn your wiring. And it also connects to your battery here. So I know I got a mess of wires there. But that's because I, you know, that's from other stuff like the fans and now the harness. So I wired this one already. It's a little bit of a mess in there. But. I try to zip tie everything to make it all nice and you know this and it doesn't get in the way of the turning but now it doesn't flicker at all oops and I have it connected to this so as you can see only the daytime running lights are on right now. The HIDs are off. That if I hit the switch down, it'll turn on the HIDs. No flickering, no nothing. Awesome. And that's how more or less it's gonna look. But I am testing them because the glue is still, how I glued the shroud. Uh, I got a little bit of glue on the light bulbs. I got a little bit of the glue on the light bulb, so it's kind of smoking a little bit, like from the heat. It's melting off the glue little by little. But hopefully that works. You know, the shroud, hopefully that shroud works. If not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrofit some 1.8 millimeter projector projectors on there I'm gonna have to take this whole casing apart and that's if it doesn't work if it works I'll leave it just like that if not I'll, I'm gonna buy some 1.8 projectors take this whole casing off uh, bake open the lights if I have to bake open the lights um, I don't think I will but if I do I'll bake open the lights retrofit the the projector in there that comes it, it comes with a metal housing so all I have to do is put it on it's basically basically it's plug and play put the projector on you screw it on from the back here from the back in there and then you fit, you fit the bulb inside of it and if I have to do that then I'll just eliminate this bulb probably paint the probably paint the chrome housing I'll probably paint it white so it can match the bike a little bit and only the projector will be be seen on this one I'll probably if I have to do the same thing to this one which if I have to do it to that one definitely I will have to do it to this one uh, I'll probably paint hers pink and then just retrofit the uh, retrofit the uh, projector in there I've already found them on eBay they're about $35 $36 for the pair, which is not bad. But first, I'm going to test it out like that and see how it works. 
If it works good, then I'll just leave it alone. If it doesn't melt my housing, I'll leave it like just as it is. But for those of you who are going to be retrofitting or converting your regular bulbs to HIDs on any motorcycle, you have to get the relay harness. That's the purpose of this video. You must get the relay harness if you're retrofitting or converting your regular headlight bulbs into HID bulbs. Because you're only going to have problems with the wiring. Luckily, I caught the, I caught, you know, luckily I don't ride too much at night. So I never really had the, to use the lights, probably once or twice. Um, and it's not so much the purpose of the wiring that this is for. Because in the long run, it can, out of the research that I've done, in the long run, it can, I'm not saying it will, but it can burn your wiring. And that's a shitty day that you will have. So your best bet is to go, when you buy your HID kit, make sure it comes with the relay harness. And the relay harness looks, I know I showed it to you in the bag. But for those of you that don't know, it looks like this. Just like this. This is your relay up here for your HIDs. This, this is your fuse. And this goes connected to your battery. Right there. And then it has two connectors for your HID ballast this is one and then get this straight there's one and two they both come on the harness so if you have dual headlights it'll be it'll work just fine if you have one, they have harnesses that only come with one of these. And then it goes connected. These go connected to your to your original motorcycle headlight positive and negative. Now I just cut this. I cut it right here and splice it so I can connect it to mine cuz I didn't know about this harness. Until I realized that my lights were flickering. And I didn't know about this harness until I did some research. So I just, since I had already cut mines, I just cut this and connected to my, to my headlight wiring. But, again, I can't stress it enough. If you guys get HIDs, if you guys are converting from regular halogen bulbs to HIDs, get this harness. It will save you a lot of headaches. It's a headache to put on. I'm not going to lie. It took me about two hours just to install that one the, on this bike. I'm doing that one now. So that's four hours out of my day. Five, you know, depending if I take a couple minute breaks and cigarette breaks and stuff. But get, do yourself the favor and just get the, house, the, the harness. One shot deal. You can connect it. It is not that hard. It's actually very, very easy. And then all I did was connect the two. Because on each of these, on each of these that go connected to your ballast, it's going to come with a ground wire. This ground wire right here. I just grounded it to this. To the secondary air injection system also known as the pair valve I took the screw off and just connected it right there zip tied it and it works it works no problems all right hope this video helps